I get asked a lot, what is my daily driver when it comes to a smartphone? A lot of people are surprised to find out it's not an iPhone, it's not a Samsung Galaxy phone, it's not even a Google Pixel phone, although I do use one. I actually use this as my daily driver. This is the Huawei Mate 20X, and I reviewed this at the end of 2018, and I've been using it ever since, which of course speaks volumes as to how much I like it, but I wanted to see how it's held up over the past year and bring you this video. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my revisit to the Huawei Mate 20X in 2020. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post all the latest updates. Now, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Huawei. I'm not being sponsored by Huawei. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before it's released. This unit was purchased with my own money. I did not receive a review unit from Huawei. For more than a year, I've been using this as my daily driver. That's right, it's the Huawei Mate 20X. It's a giant smartphone that I absolutely love. I can't seem to put it down. I can't seem to get rid of it. I cannot sell it. I absolutely love it. Despite the trials and tribulations that Huawei has been going through for the past year, this is still my favorite smartphone. And here's why. But before we get into that, make sure you check out my unboxing and review videos. I'll put the link to those videos in the video description below. And I go into more detail in those videos than I will do here. This is more of an update how it's fared after more than one year of use as my daily driver. And one of the reasons I wanted to revisit this great smartphone is because right now you can pick it up for about $679 over at Amazon. An absolute steal for this gem. The Mate 20X has a 7.2 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2244 by 1080. Sports a massive 5000 mAh battery, is powered by the Kirin 980 CPU, and has a starting price of 679 US. And that starting price gets you 6 GB of RAM, 128 GB of storage. You can bump up to 8 or 256 if you pay a little bit more. And it sports a triple camera set up on the back and I'll let you know how it's fared over the last year I've been using it. You can get it in two colors, Midnight Blue and Phantom Silver. Now first, you can put the Play Store on it. As you can see here, I have no problem with Google services. It's working perfectly and it even got an update to Android 10 recently, making it even better. And I love having a 7.2 inch OLED display. The screen real estate alone it makes it worth it. It's like having a tablet in your pocket. It's that good. Now, one of the most impressive things about the Mate 20X is its massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery that gives phenomenal battery life. Even after more than a year of heavy use, it still gives me fantastic battery life. I can go almost three days between charges. It's that good. And I don't baby the device. I actually use it on a daily basis. The thing is massive. But there is one crucial missing feature. Despite having a glass back, this doesn't support wireless charging. And here in 2020, this is a must have on a device. And the glass and metal design has held up really well, even after more than a year of heavy use. I didn't even use a case and look how good it still looks. I love that textured back. It's held up really well. And this is the pre-applied screen protector that it came with. That's the original one, and it's actually held up pretty well. It does show a little bit of wear and tear, but that's to be expected after more than a year of heavy use. Now, Huawei does sell a pen you can use with the Mate 20X. It's rechargeable, and it worked really well for taking notes, sketching out artwork, especially on that massive 7.2-inch OLED display. But there's one big problem with the pen. There's nowhere to store it on the device like you can with, say, something like the Note series from Samsung. And yes, I did lose it. I don't have the pen right now. And if I would have had a place to store it, maybe it would have been a different story. But that's not the case. But the pen is a nice option to have, and it's something you might want to consider. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. It does have a headphone jack. And yes, it does have an IR blaster. Two rarities nowadays in smartphones. There's a speaker in the earpiece and one on the bottom for excellent stereo sound. It actually gets really loud. It's one of the best sounding smartphones as far as I'm concerned. And yes, I love the red accent on the power button. 
Now I went in depth with those rear triple cameras, those Leica branded cameras in my full review. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link below once again for you to check it out. But of course, it's really held up well over the past year, getting a number of updates through Huawei, making it even better. Now there are a couple of negatives, of course. I'm not crazy about the video on this as much as I did when I initially got it, because I guess I've been spoiled by other smartphones that have really improved their video quality, but the camera itself produced some really good images. Again, check out my review if you haven't done so to get an idea of how good these cameras are. And while it may not score as high as some of the flagships today, it certainly held its own, which is pretty impressive for a smartphone that's more than a year old. Now this is an unlocked GSM phone. That means in the United States, you can use it on AT&T, T-Mobile, and Google Fi. I've been using it on Google Fi for more than a year and it's worked perfectly, getting the full LTE speeds. Now as far as 5G is concerned, Huawei did release a version that does support 5G. I haven't tested it out though. So after more than one year of use with the Huawei Mate 20X as my daily driver, can I still recommend it here in 2020? And the answer is a resounding yes. And dare I even say it, it got even better. With the upgrade to Android 10, with the use of Google Play services, with the Play Store working perfectly, this to me is still my favorite smartphone. And yes, it has gotten better. It now is an exceptional value in 2020 with a starting price of about $679. It still has good performance with this Kirin 980. That massive 7.2 inch OLED display is absolutely gorgeous and I love having all that screen real estate. I like the fact that it has pen support, great for taking notes and sketching out artwork. I love its off the charts battery life and I love the fact that you can get it with a 5G variant, making it future proof. But of course, this is not a perfect smartphone. There's no IP68 rating, no place to store the pen in the device itself, and no wireless charging, something you must have in 2020. However, these are not deal breakers, at least not in my book. I'm gonna stick with the score I gave it of 94%, making the Huawei Mate 20X not only worth your money, it still retains its title as an editor's choice. So what do you think about the Huawei Mate 20X? I think this is still a great smartphone here in early 2020. It's held up well. And I dare I say, like I said, it's gotten even better. I like the fact that it was updated to Android 10. I like the fact that it's getting continual updates from Huawei, despite the issues it's been having for the past year or so. Now, I love the massive 7.2 inch OLED display. Love that battery life, it's phenomenal. And even after I've used it, even if it's after it's degraded a little bit, it still gives me close to three days of use without having to charge. And, I, and I'm telling you, I don't baby this device. I use it very hard and it really performs. I love this smartphone so much. If I can have this gorgeous OLED display, the great battery life, as I mentioned, and the pen support. Now, speaking of the pen, I did lose it, as I mentioned. It would have been nice to do it like the Note and have a place to store it in the device. You can't do that on this device. The pen itself worked really well. I used it for taking notes. I sketched out artwork here and there, although I'm not an artist, but it came in handy. I like the fingerprint scanner, face recognition. It all worked well. The build is really held up, as I mentioned. There's no scratches on the back, so the finish on that is really good. And the screen protector is held up well, even though I haven't changed it. This is the original screen protector. It does show a little bit of wear and tear, but that's to be expected. What do you think of the Mate 20X, especially here in 2020? You could pick it up for a starting price of 679, get you six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. And to me, this is a no brainer. Now I would have liked to have seen a follow up to this. I was hoping for a Mate 30X. It didn't come to be. So I'm here still using this Mate 20X in 2020. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Hey, hey everybody, hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my revisit of the Huawei Mate 30. Oh God, I can't get the name straight. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the my, God Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my revisit to the Huawei Mate 20X in 2020. Coming up.